So now that the preparation is done, it's time to restore the cavity. And here I deviate from traditional choice and go for a more simplified approach. You need two types of composite, an injectable or flowable type and an opaque or body shade packable type. In addition, you need a matrix and my current favorites are the ones from a company called BioClear and it's worth looking them up on the www. BioClear matrices are self-supporting and use the free gingival space for stability. So after securing the matrix, etch the surface of the tooth for about 15 seconds using traditional orthophosphoric acid. I for one am not a big fan of self-etching primers for enamel bonding. Once the etching is complete, wash the etchant completely and air dry the surface. I find that bonding agents are best applied with standard brushes rather than the microfiber brushes because of the flexibility and reach of the regular brush. Work the bonding agents in for at least 20 seconds. Think of a 20 second tune, Yankee Doodle if you may. And then light cure it after air drying the surface. Now I use a warmer for my composite resin and this one that I have is locally made in Chennai by a good friend of mine called Vijay Dental Depot. You can check them up also on www. Both the injectable and packable are kept at an even temperature. Now warming helps in reducing the viscosity and improving the wettability of composites. So you apply a thin layer of injectable along the margins making sure that the tip of the syringe is pressed against the matrix to reduce air bubbles and follow that with the packable injected using the same method. When finished you would have overfilled the cavity so now take any instrument of choice and shape the resin while removing all the gross excess. Finally, light cure from all directions for the standard time as per your manufacturer's instructions. Now once curing is complete, loosen the matrices using gentle prying pressure with a plastic instrument and then you can remove them with a tweezer or a hemostat. You will notice how easy it is to remove the bioclear matrices. Voila! Now you are ready for the third step, which is finishing and polishing. And that, I'm afraid, is another video. Thank you. Thank you for watching.